All right, hello, art people. We are going to go ahead and get started on our second day of working on this project here, our fractions, our division problems, hearts, candy hearts. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on all of this together. Um, we're going to stay at the same pace as everybody. So today we're working on our second heart. Now, if you've already done a second heart, that's fine. You can actually do a second layer of your second heart um, because this acrylic paint that we used actually looks really good if you do two layers on it, um, which I'm going to be doing to all my hearts eventually anyway. So you can go ahead and do your second layer on your second heart here um, if you've already done two hearts. Okay, so step one, go ahead and get the paint color that you would like to use for your second heart. Use this one. All right, thumbs up if you've got the paint. Okay, good. Or somebody at your table might have the paint that you wanted. So in that case, you're just sitting there and waiting for them to be done. And then let's open the top off here. Just pop that top off. And then we're going to fill up one of our rectangles with that paint. And then we either pass this to the child who wanted to use it, or we put it back in the blue basket in the middle of our tables. All right. Thumbs up if you've got your paint. Awesome. So now we're going to get a brush. All right, we've all got our brush. And now we're gonna go ahead and get started with our painting. So first we're gonna paint this side. So get a little paint on your brush and paint the side of your second heart. Try to stay in those pencil lines that you've painted for yourself. And remember, when we get to the edge of the paper, we just lift the paper up a little bit. That way, when we paint off the edge, it doesn't get on the table. Okay? All right, good. Now, you can put this paintbrush in your water. And now, we're going to get some white paint. Okay? We've all got our white paint or, or uh, don't have our white paint because somebody else at our table is using it or waiting patiently. And then we're just going to put some white paint on here. There we go. All right. And then you put the white paint in the blue box or hand it to the next child. Actually, let's change it to the next child. We're all using white right now. All right. I'll pause it until we all have white. All right, and then we're gonna mix these two colors together in this large rectangle. So just kind of push some of that green into the white triangle. I kind of like to scoop it and place it. Or I don't know, I said triangle, that rectangle. So we've got our, our first color, and now we're going to add some white to it. So some scoops of white, and then mix it together. So we mix in these large rectangle areas. And we want there to be a big difference between our main color and our lighter version of it. So if you need to add some more white. I should not have done so much green. Because it's taking me a lot of work to get the this to be a little lighter. Okay. I use all my white, I think. Okay, so we're mixing together our light version of our main color. So who can raise your hand and tell me what it's called in art? Any color plus white. What is do, what do we call that in art? Okay, if you said a tint, T-I-N-T, -T, you are correct. So we're gonna take our tint of our new color and we're gonna go ahead and paint your second heart. And again, on the edge of the paper, you just lift it up so you'll get it on the table like this. All 
Okay, good. And you put your paintbrush in the water. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our third heart now. So pick out another color. I'm going to do this pink color and squeeze it out into one of your rectangles. Put it back in the blue box. And we're now going to clean our brush. Everybody grab your brush that's in your water and gently swish it. So I'm pushing it on the bottom of my cup and I'm kind of swishing it down there at the bottom. And then slide, slide to get the extra water off. Okay. And grab that color. And again, we're doing the side of your third heart. And now we're going to make a tint of that color. So you might have white left over. I need more white for this. So I'm going to go back to where I've been keeping my white. And we're going to just get a couple scoops of that second color. And then grab some of your white. And mix it up. Alright, so again, the word is contrast. When two colors look different, it's a contrast. So if the two colors look really, really different, then it's a high contrast. And if they just look a little bit, it's a low contrast. So high contrast makes things pop. And contrast is a principle of design. So we have our elements of art. Those are the items that we use to make the art, such as line, shape, form, color, space, and value and texture and then the way we use those supplies are called the principles of design okay so we've got our second color now we are all at the same time painting the top of that third heart Okay, we've all painted our third heart. And now we're going to do our fourth. So put your paintbrush in the water and pick out another color. Gotta go get one. All right. We've all got our third color. You got, can go ahead and pour out a rectangle of that color. And again, let's all switch our brush. Swish and clean our brush. Swish, swish, swish. Slide and slide. Grab your third color. And now we're painting the size of our, th our fourth heart. And then I've still got white left over, so I don't need to get new white this time. And obviously we've used our two big squares, or two big rectangles, so we'll have to use one of our little rectangles to mix this one. So just take a little bit of your main color, 
and a lot of white. Notice how my white's a little dirty, but I'm still using it, so it's all good. It's okay if it's a little dirty, it'll all mix together and look good. And then we're going to go ahead and mix that. Okay, and we all have that mixed now. And now we are all painting our fourth heart. Okay, so let's review. Who can raise your hand and tell me what is it called when we add white to a color? If you said tint, that is correct. So this is a tint of orange because it's orange plus white. Now what if we were adding a black paint to any of our colors? What would it be called if we add black to a color and make it darker? What's that called? If you said shade, that is correct. Alright, so we're done with our hearts. For it, we're going to paint four hearts. Sorry. So sorry, my microphone fell. Back microphone. Okay. Right, there we go. Okay. And then now we are going to take uh, colored pencils and we're going to use our colored pencils for the other hearts. So if you have any little hearts, we are going to use color pencils for the little ones uh, any, with any color you want, of course. And to get different values with color pencil, you can actually do a really light coloring on the front and then on the sides you can just push down a little harder. And you'll see that we can get some contrast with a color pencil as well. And remember, when we're getting colored pencils, we're not sticking our hand in and like moving all the pencils around, like digging. Not like that, because that will break the pencils and the, on the inside, the color part will break if you rack around with like your hand in the box. So you look for with your eyeballs. Once you see where it's at, then you can go in and grab it, but not until you can see it. It's also a lot quieter that way. And if you're having trouble coloring your hearts without um, leaning your hand on the paint, look, you can just flip your page over just like I'm doing here. So that way you can still lean your hand on the table while you color and you don't get paint on your hands. Alright, and that is it. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching.